I have fitness myths that need to die right now. Number one, squats are bad for your knees. No, squats are actually a fantastic way to strengthen your knee muscles. In fact, those with stronger legs live longer and squats have been shown over and over again in controlled studies to improve knee strength and overall health. Two, lifting weights is dangerous for old people. Nothing could be further from the truth. Past the age of 30, we all lose significant amounts of muscle mass if we don't lift weights. And this leads to dysfunction and lack of mobility into your 70s and 80s. Those who are older actually have a more compelling reason to lift weights, though older people are less likely to do so. Fat burners burn fat. They don't. Most fat burners have two types of ingredients, those which suppress your appetite and those that give you energy like caffeine. However, nothing legal actually burns fat. The only way to burn fat remains to be eating less food than your body requires to maintain your current body weight. Cardio burns fat. Well, it actually does, but not how you think. Cardio absolutely does burn fat, but so do all forms of exercise. All forms of exercise use both stored and dietary fat, as well as the body's other energy use mechanisms to provide it with energy during movement. However, if you are not in a calorie deficit, you still will not lose weight. And if you are in an excess calorie surplus, those excess calories will be stored as body fat regardless of how much physical activity you do. Carbs are bad. Define bad. Carbs are actually essential for healthy brain function and provide the body with energy with which to work out and go about your daily business. Carbs are not good or bad, they just are, and they have various uses within the body. All carbs are also not created equal, with some having far more sugar and others having far more fiber. Excessive intake of carbs can certainly lead to weight gain, but the same is true for any macronutrient if it will put you in a calorie surplus. It should be noted that heavily processed carbohydrate sources like cookies, cakes, candies tend to have high amounts of fat as well, so it's not just the carbs, it's the excessive calories that are a problem.